One couple is certain that the death toll from the tornado would have included them if they had stuck with their plan to ride out the storm. Jeff Glor has their story tonight. Jeff. Scott, good evening. From the air this morning, we saw one block of homes in one neighborhood that was completely leveled. We visited that neighborhood this afternoon. This is what's left of 6th Street in Moore. And this is what's left of the house where David and Ann Fries lived for seven years. They lost the family dog, Spitz, and nearly all their possessions. Are you finding anything here that was yours? Yeah, I found uh, well, this came off my wife's motorcycle. Finding some of my guitar pedals and guitar equipment. It could have been even worse had Ann not made a last minute decision. We've always wrote it out in our master bedroom closet, you know, just put some sofa cushions in there and some blankets and pillows. And at the very last second before we went in there, because it looked bad, you know, at the last second, my wife said, I'm leaving, let's get out of here. You left with how much time to spare? Maybe, you know, maybe 10 minutes, you know, maybe 10. They drove to a neighbor's house about two miles away. Have you thought about how fortunate that decision was to leave? Yeah. As soon as we pulled up, it was just foundation. Everything was gone. I knew, I mean, we'd have died if we'd have stayed. Scott, friends are helping the Freezes salvage whatever they can. I asked David if they would rebuild. He texted me a short time ago and said, definitely. That's what we're made of. Jeff, thanks very much.